HMAS Anzac 3 is the lead ship of eight Anzac-class frigates built by Tenex Defence Systems at Williamstown, Victoria for the Royal Australian Navy. The design is based on the German Miko 200 frigate. Anzac is a long-range frigate capable of air defence, surface and undersea warfare, surveillance, reconnaissance and interdiction. Anzac's combat capabilities have been significantly improved under the Anti-Ship Missile Defense Upgrade Program, a world-class program that provides an enhanced sensor and weapon systems capability. The upgrade showcases Australian design and integration capability, with new phased array radar technology designed by CEA Technologies in Canberra, upgrades to combat systems performed by Saab Systems in South Australia, and platform integration designed by BAE Systems in Victoria. ANZAC is fitted with an advanced package of air and surface surveillance radars, omnidirectional hull-mounted sonar and electronic support systems that interface with the state-of-the-art 9LV453 MK3E combat data system. The ship can counter simultaneous threats from aircraft, surface vessels, and submarines. The ship's main armament comprises one Mark 45 capable of firing 20 rounds per minute, ship-launched Mark 46 torpedoes and a Mark 41 vertical launch system for the evolved Sea Sparrow missile. ANZAC also has eight anti-ship-slash-land attack canister launched harpoon missiles. The ship's other defense systems include the Nulka Active Missile Decoy System, Off-Board Chaff and a Torpedo Countermeasure System. HMAS Anzac, like her sister frigates HMA ships Arunta, Ballarat, Parramatta, Perth, Stewart, Toowoomba and Warramunga features a combined diesel or gas, Kodog, propulsion plant which enables the ship to sustain sprint speeds of greater than 27 knots and allows an operational range in excess of 6,000 nautical miles at 18 knots. The ship can embark Navy's latest multi-role Sikorsky slash Lockheed Martin MH-60R Seahawk helicopter which has enhanced anti-submarine, anti-surface warfare and search and rescue capabilities. Embarkation of a helicopter also provides the ship with the capability to deliver air-launched missiles and torpedoes. ANZAC is the third Royal Australian Navy ship to carry the name of an Australian legend. Named after the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps during the First World War, the Anzacs landed on the Gallipoli Peninsula as part of a larger Allied force on April 25, 1915, meeting fierce resistance from the Turkish defenders. The campaign dragged on for a further eight months of hellish trench warfare, giving birth to a legend of endurance, selflessness, dedication to duty and mateship in the most demanding of environments. It is a shared memory of common sacrifice for the nations involved, regardless of nationality or religion, providing an enduring example for the men and women of the Australian Defence Force and Australians as a whole. Anzac Day is annually commemorated in Australia on April 25. As such, Anzac 3 proudly bears her name underpinned by the motto, United We Stand. In maintaining a close link with the rich traditions of the Anzac spirit, during the Northern Trident 2005 deployment, Anzac visited Anzac Cove, Gallipoli for the 90th anniversary of the landings. In company with warships of Britain, France and Turkey, Anzac provided a stunning backdrop to the official dawn service ceremony while some members of her crew participated in the services ashore. During Northern Trident 2005, ANZAC celebrated the 200th anniversary of the Battle of Trafalgar in the UK as part of the International Fleet Review. ANZAC has been granted freedom of entry to the city of Albany, Western Australia, the departure port for the ANZACs of old and also has a close association with the city of Rockingham. The Warnbro High School, near her home port, has established the HMAS ANZAC Learning Centre that promotes the education of our Navy and the history of Australia's most costly war. Other notable events ANZAC participated in have included deployments to the Arabian Gulf, culminating in naval gunfire support of British Royal Marines landings on Alpha Peninsula, Iraq in 2003. ANZAC has also successfully contributed to fisheries protection, border protection and maritime rescue operations through her years of service. In 2015 ANZAC participated in Northern Trident 2015, where she took part in the commemorative events for the 100th anniversary of the ANZAC landings at ANZAC Cove, Gallipoli. 
HMAS ANZAC is the second ANZAC class frigate to complete the ANZAC Midlife Capability Assurance Program AMCAP, upgrade at the Australian Marine Complex in Henderson, Western Australia. The upgrade was performed by the Warship Asset Management Agreement WAMA, Alliance and included the replacement of the Long Range Air Search Radar IFF, identification, friend or foe, and secondary surveillance radar capabilities. ANZAC also underwent a platform systems obsolescence program to improve platform reliability and maintainability. Work was also performed to improve the ship's habitability for the crew as well as an upgrade to the ship's communication systems to resolve a number of obsolescence issues. In May 2020, HMAS ANZAC returned to her home port of Fleet Base West where she will begin conducting post-AMCAP sea trails, workups and testing the new equipment on board. In early March 2021, HMAS ANZAC departed Australia with auxiliary oiler replenisher HMAS Sirius for a deployment throughout Southeast Asia and the Northern Indian Ocean. During the deployment the frigate undertook exercises and international engagement with navies including France, Indonesia, India, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, the United States and Canada. Nearing the end of the deployment, ANZAC was retasked to support a critical search and rescue effort. ANZAC traveled 670 nautical miles west of Perth to assist an Indonesian fishing boat in distress, the ship rescued 20 fishermen who were provided with medical assistance and accommodation before being returned to Bali on May 21, 2021. Command and Control The ANZAC's combat data system is built around the SAAD system's 9LV453 MK3 combat management system, with Link-11 and SHF satellite communications. The 9LV MK3E is fitted in the last vessel for the RAN. Milsatcom communication system has been installed in HMAS Waramunga and subsequent vessels, which facilitates joint exercises with U.S. and Allied navies. Weapons control is managed by the Saab Systems 9LV-453 Optronic Director with Saab Systems J-Band Radar. Raytheon CW MK-73 is the fire control system for the Sea Sparrow missile. This has been replaced with the CEA Technologies I or J-Band Solid State Continuous Wave Illuminator Transmitter SSCWI on Waramunga and will be fitted to all ANZAC vessels.